Tana 990 here. I'll be here to show you this Fallout 3 Strictly Business Quest. It's actually very fairly easy. This is mainly just to show you what is inside the quest. Uh, mainly what you'll be getting through the quest. I will be doing it all in order. So, the first is Flak. Which is actually the toughest. And mainly... Oh, forgot this. There we go. Damn it, die already. Alright. Here's a very, very easy way to get money. If you can survive this, at least. Alright, so first off, Rivet City. And I haven't even gotten to GNR yet, so... And this is actually very easy because I've already, I've already uh, gone through everywhere. So well, almost everywhere. So I already know where everything is. And uh, I am cheating, by the way. God mode. My stats. Uh, all ten. All one hundred. Uh, T fifty one B. It's awesome. This is the single best armor in the game. Rad resistance plus 25. The helmet is worth almost a thousand caps. It's 999 caps. Uh, well, the body, the power helmet. Oh no, actually, the armor is 999. The helmet is 120. Wow. And I'm using a mod, the M82A1. It's a 50 cal mod for those of you who don't even know what an M82A1 is. And this, this is very, 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 very good gun. Let me see the damage. Something really funny that happened to me. I uh, I spawn and then I don't know where this guy like falls down, and he has like a fat man and a missile launcher on him. So I don't know. I don't remember whether it was me who dropped it and I returned, which it probably wasn't because I had I don't think I had gotten to ten penny yet. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, so I spawn and the next thing I know, it's like oh my god, this guy dropped the fat man and stuff. You know, it's so weird. That was on Xbox. Oh. Sim Shady's online. That was my brother. I call his account Slim Shitty. Now, the easiest way to do this step number one, go up here. Step number two, kill this hobo. Step number three, press this button. Step number four. Uh, probably finish up the Android quest. It'll make things a lot easier for you. <laughs> because Harkness won't be here. You see... Oh, well, that's only if you do it the bad way. See, Harkness? This guy is so annoying whenever you're doing this here. Just say forget it, I'm out of here. They don't even care. You can, you can still just go inside. So anyway, whenever you do the, the Android quest and you get Harkness captured, you, uh, he's out of here, you know, he's gone, he's out of here, and, uh, then you don't have to worry about him here, because whenever you're trying to get out of here, with this guy still alive, he, uh, Harkness only goes unconscious, you can't kill him, so that's the really, really annoying part, so, get the Mezatron out, well, Mesmatron, but whatever. You look exhausted. Yeah, 
sucker. No, this is where you run like hell. You're gonna want a really, really good gun. The 44 Magnum will do good here. Unless you're cheating like I am. Now, this is what I want you to do. Jump down as much as you can to get through because you want to escape. You want to at least get here. Then you want to teleport all the way to Paradise Falls. Oh shit, is that flag? Oh no, it's not. That's Big Town. Okay, then you teleport to Paradise Falls. See, what I did first, I would always follow him, and, and I would just watch. You know, I'm hoping, oh my god, please, don't let their head blow up. You know? And, oh, boom. See, this is the easiest way. You just teleport, and he's there randomly. funny about how the bottle caps are uh, their currency. Are these guys running away from me? Oh, by the way, the best place to hit a Brahmin, hit it in the udder, or at least the chest, because that's where it does the most damage. the schematics I got? I forgot, I didn't see it. Nuka grenade? Aw. Uh, I once found, uh, the schematics for, uh, next is red from Big Town. I found the schematics for the oh, damn it, what was it? Oh, I forgot the name of it. The shish kebab. I was actually, I was talking about that shish kebab at school, then some guy thought, what, you're gonna go around with like a kebab skewer? You're gonna be hitting people? And I'm like, what? Apparently that guy never plays video games. Also, if any of you have any questions about Star Wars, just put it down there. I'll answer anything. Well, anything about mainly the story, but if there's anything about the scripts and stuff, like not the dialogue, I know all the dialogue, but like, oh, what was the most awesome, like the most, the greatest term ever used in it, that, those stuff I can't answer. Oh man, I want to hit this thing. Yes! Oh, come on, I missed. Yep, this thing is insanely overpowered and over accurate. It's fun to use it. Oi! Did you... He was still running at me with his head off for a second. That was funny. Also, what's good about it on the PC, I can spawn as many Super Mutant Behemoths as I want. Why is there always a Protectron and a Scorpion fighting each other here? Alright, part two will be starting up.